not sure, but I think I heard three blind mice get lost in there. <laughs> That's amazing. I'll never forget, Kim had been 49 and then turned 4010. <laughs> and she heard this. I don't think I've ever seen Kim become so fascinated with anything in her life. Now, if you know her, you know that she, all the music she plays are her own arrangements, and she arranges them herself. But one night, she is listening on YouTube and comes across this pianist who is playing, and I hear her from the other room just making, you know, comments from the peanut gallery. She's watching, and she goes, uh-uh, mm -mm. oh, that's not possible. And she's watching his hands move, and she said, oh, I heard her go, oh, that is not humanly possible. <laughs> Next week, here come a vanilla, vanilla envelope in the mail, and it had the score. When I heard her rehearsing that, in the back of my mind, I said, that's going to go on the Christmas record. But I was not brave enough to approach the subject. So I waited until she was deep, deep into the process of rehearsing, and I said to her one day, you know, we need to get a hold of the gentleman who arranged that because we're going to need to get permission for you to record it. Woo! There was a lot of protests. Remember that day? You said, oh, no, 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 that's just for me. I turned 4010, and I have to keep those skills going, you know. And uh, I let her think that it was just for those skills, but uh, boy, I just really thought she had to bring that out to the audiences all across the United States. Did you guys enjoy Sleigh Ride tonight? That was amazing. So Kim, we met the arranger via a, a Zoom call that you had with him. And tell us about that first piano lesson you had in 40 years. <laughs> well, he, he heard that I was going to record it, and he said, please express my pleasure to that woman for tackling this. And I thought, well, okay, that didn't sound very good. And so he said, here's my contact information. Whatever she needs, tell her to call me if she has any questions. And so, you know, I did. I said, can I talk to you? Can we FaceTime? There's 162 measures to that piece, and we got on a FaceTime call for an hour and 50 minutes. I went over every measure. And he kept saying things like to me like, throw your wrist, throw your wrist. And I said, huh? I said, we don't throw our wrist in gospel music. <laughs> He kind of looked at me. Long story short, uh, we tackled that piece, and um, he ended up coming. Uh, he said, um, I see, I want to come hear you. I want to come. He said, I know nothing about gospel music, nothing. He said, I know nothing about it. He said, but I've been on YouTube, and I've been searching. And he said, you know, there's a place for this music. <laughs> I said, you think? And he said, I want to come hear you. He ended up coming to... The Brooklyn Tab, he lives in Long Island, New York. He got on the subway and came over a couple years ago and saw us at Brooklyn Tab, got to hear the choir, and it was amazing service. And so he came up to me afterwards and said, this was, this was amazing. I, I will never forget this experience. He said, actually, I'm a lawyer. And he said, I, um, I practice right down here in Brooklyn many times. I've tried many cases here. And I said, really? A few weeks later, he, he um, calls me, and he says, listen, I, I want to tell you something. He said, I've been searching all over the Internet. And he said, I found this woman on there. Her name is Sandy Patty. <laughs> I said, Andrew, you've never heard, Sandy, heard of Sandy Patty. He said, I've heard her name. I've never heard her sing. He said, it's amazing. He said, and who on earth is this David Clydesdale that's working with her? <laughs> Interestingly enough, uh, Andrew has since started following this music. And I am delighted to tell y'all he is here tonight. He came all he the way the from Long Island. Yes, he did. Andrew? Come up Look here. at him, right there. Andrew Gentile from Long Island, New York. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so what kind of a guy is an attorney that does music like that? You, you do concertos for orchestra? I'm going to let just you and Kim just get into this because I'm telling you what. Well, I just want to ask you in front of all of this audience, what ever came into your mind to produce something, you know, in, on that level as far as the arranging that's supposed to be all the orchestra? I thought it took more than one person for that. 
I think it should. <laughs> <laughs> How many hands do you think she had? Oh, that's, that's, that's the whole trick of the piece. It's like a three-handed piece. And when I first sat down to tackle it, I was like, could this work? And I, and I, I figured out just how to arrange those first few measures. And I'm like, hmm, this, this could work. So I just kept on going. And uh, the rest so tell them what you something. told me last night. He gave me a little comfort and made me feel a little silly. He said, uh, you told me about oh, the pianist that yeah. won't, won't touch it. Sure. This, now, this piece has been played by some of the greatest in the world. And they've made videos of it, but they really haven't played it live. I think it's intimidating for everybody. Uh, it's just, it's remarkable that, that Kim has played it live many times now. It's, it's her piece now. Yeah. It really is. <laughs> Everybody make Andrew Gentile welcome to Virginia. Thank you, Thank you Andrew. <laughs> <laughs>